Good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Cook's War Strategy Gaming, and wanted to bring your attention to some war gaming news. We have uh, the Steam Summer Sale going on June 24th through the July 20, uh, July 8th. Um, that's going to be for about two weeks there. Again, a um, lot more than just strategy games. You have strategy, simulation, action, adventure, sci-fi. Uh, the strategy game section, though, uh, features lots of uh, very large titles that are on sale. You got Imperator Rome by Paradox going for $9.99, 75% off. Um, yes, it has been um, advertised that Paradox has dropped support for the game and left the door open, though I think, to maybe pick up the game at one point, but maybe don't hold your breath. But at $9.99, um, if you were wanting to give Imperator Rome a try, here's a decent opportunity to do that. Uh, mixed reviews. I never got into it. I don't have an opinion on the game one way or the other. Um, other games worthy of note. You have the Civ, uh, Civ 6 at uh, $14.99. That's a big drop from a uh, $60 price tag. Uh, I, myself, will be picking up Imperium Greek Wars and going to try that. And we'll probably do a first look video. It's been out for over a year almost. Um, I may even try Rising Lords. Um, at the discounted price, um, Battle Brothers. If you haven't picked that one up, I highly, highly recommend Battle Brothers as a game. It is very fun, very challenging, um, but you can tweak the settings to make it easier. Banner Lord 2, Mountain Blade. Um, I have not yet played Mountain, uh, Mountain Blade 2 yet. I was a fan of the original Mountain Blade, um, but that is now discounted 20%. Surviving Mars. Um... So, yes, lots of games on sale um, for the next couple weeks on Steam. Um, also, let's bring your attention to a new patch uh, by Grand Tactician. Civil War 1861 has released their .901 patch um, today, earlier this morning on Friday. I'm sorry, Thursday uh, the 24th of June. Now, they are. Uh, they also mentioned that they are very close to releasing the the official release. So be on the lookout for the official release of Grand Tactician Civil War. Some campaign note changes or improvements. Fixed AI does not use terrain, sea, and river movement. So that's been fixed. Increased movement updates for smoother movements. I myself, um, many of your comments in uh, my videos have expressed uh, my, my, wanting me to do a campaign video for Grand Tactician. And I will do one tweaking around. I've been trying to do some tutorial videos that I'm getting ready to release soon. Um, I've been stalling on a full campaign because I don't want to be doing campaign. And then they release... 1.0 and again that could take a few more months but they keep hinting at it. it's very close to being finished so fix wrong directions of arrows and commander attributes so take a look at the um campaign fixes Com commander attribute stars now show correct values weighted by experience okay commander attributes are reduced by Experience points at scenario start and during gameplay. Increased movement updates for smoother movement. So lots of reworking. It's a pretty decent sized patch. AI now, AI now pre-recruits manpower loss through contract expires in coming months. Um, AI battles now deploy end of day end of the day after player redeployment. Okay, so they're going to. Allow the player to redeploy and then allow the AI to respond to that redeployment. I, um, I assume that it was the other way around. And yes, that may affect the AI behavior quite a bit. Edit AI behavior. Retreat if outflanked on both sides and refuse flank if outflanked on one side. Very cool. 
Um, fixed. When reloading a campaign battle, some objectives may be switched or deactivated. All right, so yeah, I'll go ahead and check out the .90 update to Grand Tactician. So um, maybe a quick channel update. We will probably uh, pick up a game here. I'm going to. Uh, I am going to. If you are following the Total War Remastered e Egypt campaign, I am going to stop doing it live, and I've started recording the ending of that campaign as we, as the the slugfest against the Romans has been drawn out. Um, I do. I will c complete the campaign. Uh, for those of you that have watched the Lu Bu campaigns for Total War Three Kingdoms, I am going to finish that. So please stick around for that. I will release those videos as I... I'm a very <laughs> procrastinator when it comes to editing. That said, um, those things will be completed um, down the road. I want to... I'm going to stay... I'm going to stick with more um, Rome Total War Remastered content. Um... They did seem to patch it, so I'm encouraged by that. I know there's criticisms of the game as a whole. I do enjoy the game, um, so I'm going to continue with the Rome Total War Remastered. Other games on the docket, uh, we will definitely continue the Admiral um, Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Um, the American Campaign, there will be much more Ultimate Admiral content. I Right now, this is a... Um, a very fun and enjoyable game to me. I will probably eventually check out Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts as well. There will also be maybe some maybe some Unity of Command. I want to actually dive into Panzer Corps 2. I know it's been out for a little while, but there are some there are some things I want to try with settings that might be entertaining, um, to say the least. So um, if you are a Panzer Corps fan, let's check out that. Also. Not to mention that uh, maybe later on in a few months or so, John Tiller Software has also so has their summer sales. So uh, the very first series that I launched on my channel a year ago, it's almost been a year that I launched this channel. Um, yes, I'm a very small channel. I understand that. Um, I took a little bit of break. I wasn't sure if this was what I want to do with my spare time as little as there is. But uh, the very first videos I was doing were the the uh, campaign um, the campaign series, the Civil War campaign series, specifically Gettysburg. Um, there may be a video series featuring more of John Tiller's games down the road. Something very uh, I was thinking of something interactive, uh, to, and I will hint at that it would involve. You, the viewer, um, commenting on decisions we make on the field of battle. Um, I'll leave it at that. So, uh, check out John Tiller Software with their summer sale. I think other game developers probably have summer sales as well. Steam has their summer sale going on right now. So, a lot of opportunity. If you have a little bit of discretionary income, um, please, you know, take the opportunity. Save a little bit of money on the long run. Um, you have action games too, if you're into that. Uh, so they have uh, Thrones of Britannia. They're calling that an action game. Um, and Dark Souls. Okay. So yeah, lots of uh, opportunity to save a little money in the long run. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed this little um, news or informational video. You may try it out again. So if you are interested in the channel, check me out. Cook's War Strategy Gaming. Subscribe, like the video, I, I leave comments. Uh, maybe there's a game uh, that you want me to check out. Um, I'm more than willing to try any game. So let me know what you think and leave a comment down below and I will most likely try to play that game. Thanks.